My child, come close and hear my words on the blessings of forgiveness. This act which so transforms the soul emanates from the wellspring of divine love within. Forgiveness offers freedom beyond measure, yet unlocking its power requires deep courage and compassion. What is this gift that shapes life's journey? Forgiveness transcends the wounds inflicted callously or carelessly by others. It rises above the chaos of emotions to clear the inner sky, more than the rebuilding of broken bridges between souls. Forgiveness reconstructs the soul itself. Those who forgive are not diminished, displaying weakness or surrender. Rather, they stand tall as spiritual warriors, heroes who vanquish the demons of bitterness and fear. For in the end, it is resentment that imprisons the injured heart as surely as any dungeon holds captive the convicted felon. You may ask, what is this forgiveness, this get out of jail free card for sins against me? No, simply this, forgiveness is the highest expression of love in action. It gifts the offender freedom from condemnation and liberates you from playing jury and judge over others' transgressions. Forgiveness does not exonerate harmful deeds or erase injustice from history's slate. Nor is reconciliation with the transgressor required for its healing alchemy to ignite. Forgiveness flows from the choice to allow my divine grace to transform pain into wisdom, hatred into compassion. Why should you, the wounded one, be the bearer of this gift? Why not demand justice, retribution for the blows which knocked you to your knees? Have I not said that I shall repay in due time all human deeds, blessing the kind and cursing the cruel? Yet, beloved, take care that in condemning others' sins, you do not bind yourself in chains of resentment and self-poisoning thoughts. The jagged shards of memories that cut deepest often reflect back the hatred kindled within the injured heart. I created you for so much more than this. Therefore come, beloved child, take my hand and walk the road less traveled with me. On this path we leave behind the heavy baggage of grudges borne silently for so long. I understand you may not feel ready to forgive grave injustices and deep violations of trust, but I tell you now, freedom awaits around the next bend for those brave enough to release bitterness's grip. In your darkest hour, when waves of anger or despair whip violently, cling fast to me. Allow my divine grace to infuse you with untold strength and courage. The resurrection power, the power to revive hopes left for dead, to raise beauty from ashes, sleeps dormant within you this very moment. Awaken now and call it forth by naming your deepest wounds and losses before me at the throne of grace. Allow my light to bathe you in warmth and my living waters to cleanse you. As I remove shame and shock from your mind, may you glimpse your inherent belovedness. For no one, no force in heaven or earth can separate you from my love. Now arise, strengthened in that unshakable truth. Extend this love you have received outward, imparting grace to those who harmed you. I know you may not feel like forgiving yet, and that is fair. Remember this is a journey, not a singular event. Grace flows gently but persistently as a stream carves through stone. With time and care the rock gives way. But stay patient with yourself, my child. Repeat often this simple prayer. Help me want to want to forgive. I will honor this, strengthening in you the desire to break free of bitterness gravity. When flashes of pain or anger arise, let this simple prayer be the lifeline drawing you back to me. As healing progresses, you may suddenly long to reconcile broken ties, or you may feel at peace with keeping the distance intact. When bitterness no longer eclipses your vision, wonders appear on the horizon once obscured. Companionship, community, creativity, purpose, all these multiply as forgiveness flows freely from you. Extend grace generously in each situation. Release expectations often and pause frequently to acknowledge the blessings in and around you. My child, 
Pray often to become ever more aware of my presence, for I am nearer than your next breath. Talk honestly with me. I understand the language of sighs and tears. Quiet your spinning thoughts, inviting peaceful presence. The way forward will unveil itself in due time, often in moments of stillness. Perhaps surprisingly, you may feel stirrings calling you toward the path of service, seeking not accolades but simply to leave your corner of the world a bit brighter. In serving others, your cup of joy fills to overflowing. This results from walking the path of forgiveness faithfully until you reach me, the source of all love. Here at this place of reconnection, tap into the wellspring of grace at your core. Drink deeply the living waters of forgiveness, healing, and unconditional belonging. Do you grasp at the edges of this vision still struggling to embody it daily? Peace, my child, you are not alone. Though the way seems uncertain, lift your eyes often to the light ahead. Fear not the shadows still lurking. Pain left unreconciled cannot steal your inheritance of joy. Let this declaration comfort you when threats of past suffering re-emerge. The light ahead burns stronger than any darkness behind. Release the familiar weight of resentment as I take your hand once more. Allow me to guide your heart through labyrinths of memories long forsaken. Navigating together, what new understanding comes to light? Here is fertile ground for forgiveness roots to sink deep and blossom anew. See how the years of wandering this wilderness with me have enriched your soul. The seeds of wisdom planted even today shall bear much fruit a hundredfold. Allow thankfulness to swell up and spill over. Let it lift trembling voices. Then simply rest, my child. Rest in my strong embrace. For now and always, you are safe. You are chosen. You are cherished. You are named beloved, delight of my heart. In this journey of forgiveness and healing, I invite you to consider the profound impact of giving of extending yourself in acts of generosity that transcend mere transaction. This, my beloved, is where true transformation begins, not only in the soul of the receiver, but, more significantly, in the heart of the giver. Giving is an echo of my nature, a testament to the boundless love I have poured into creation. It is not merely about the transfer of resources, but the sharing of oneself, time, attention, compassion. These are the currencies of the divine economy, where investment yields returns of joy, peace, and fulfillment beyond measure. In a world where scarcity frightens and hoarding comforts, I call you to a radical trust, a belief that giving does not deplete but replenishes, that there is enough for all when hearts are open and hands are generous. The act of donating be it resources, time, or talent, is a declaration of faith, a testimony that my provision is sufficient and my promises are sure. And yet, giving is not only about what you can offer to others, it is also about investing in yourself, in the cultivation of your gifts, and the stewardship of your resources for greater purposes. To invest in oneself is not to succumb to selfishness, but to acknowledge that you, too, are a vessel of divine potential, meant to be filled to overflowing. It is by nurturing your own growth, by seeking wisdom and cultivating virtue, that you become capable of greater generosity. The moral value of giving, therefore, is twofold. It affirms the dignity of the recipient, recognizing their worth and potential to rise above their circumstances. Simultaneously, it refines the giver, chiseling away the rough edges of selfishness and igniting the flame of compassion within. It is not confined to material assistance, but encompasses the offering of forgiveness, the sharing of knowledge, and the extension of a listening ear. These are the gifts that often cost little but mean everything. As you walk with me, let your life become a river of generosity, flowing from the inexhaustible source of my love. Let giving be your joy.
and receiving, a humble acceptance of the grace that binds us all. In doing so, you mirror the divine, becoming conduits of my mercy and architects of a more compassionate world. Remember, my child, the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The world teaches you to calculate gain and guard against loss, but I invite you to a higher accounting where the currency is love and the dividends are eternal. In this economy, the heart's investment in giving, donating, and investing in oneself and others yields a harvest of peace and contentment that surpasses all understanding. Let this wisdom guide you as you navigate the complexities of life. In moments of decision, may the spirit of generosity light your path, and in times of abundance or need, may you always find your heart anchored in the unshakable truth that in giving we receive, in forgiving we are set free, and in loving we come closest to the divine. So, my beloved, step forward with courage and faith. Embrace the journey of giving, for it is in this act that you discover the depth of your strength and the breadth of your heart. In your search for deeper understanding, remember that true giving begins within oneself. As you cultivate wisdom and compassion, it's essential to nurture the virtues that reside in your heart. Dedicate yourself to self-reflection, acts of kindness, and spiritual growth. Seek moments of stillness to deepen your awareness and gratitude. In times of difficulty, protect this inner growth until it becomes strong once more. 